All right. Well, today I wanted to talk about an old friend of mine. We'll just call him Bob. Uh, he's a friend that I used to have. And how a good friend of his, we'll just call him Kevin, started having sex with Bob's mom and eventually ended up marrying her. So one of my old friends from high school, Bob, used to have parties for New Year's and Fourth of July each year. Many years back in like late high school and kind of early on in college, he would invite like a good amount of people, probably like 50 to 60, especially for the 4th of July parties. Now his mom was probably in her early 50s at the time, maybe late 40s. And for her age, she was like eh, somewhat like decently attractive for her age. Um, I guess she worked out a lot, but still definitely still looked very much like early 50s, I would say. She had like a semi-muscular body. She was always in the gym. Um, I guess she looked slightly younger than, you know, most women in her age. I personally didn't find her attractive at the time uh, when I was 19. And I remember that she would always come down to the basement where my friend would have the music playing and all the drinking games going. And she would actually hang out for a while. And she would be like dancing by herself and giving eyes to a lot of us, like <laughs> including me. And um, she would give eyes to a few of other, our other friends as well. And we definitely all noticed this, but we always kind of like ignored it and like joked around like amongst each other. Like, oh, I think Bob's mom's checking us out. And my, my friend Bob had a friend that grew up in his neighborhood. They went like way back to like elementary school. And his friend Kevin, I guess, came, we'll, we'll just call him Kevin, came from like a, a pretty bad family. I guess his parents were divorced at a, at a young age and his his dad was like an alcoholic. So we spent a lot of time at my friend Bob's house growing up. So there was one New Year's party in particular where my one friend pulled me aside and said, dude, yo, Bob's mom was grinding with uh, Kevin downstairs. And when he said this, like, I wasn't too surprised by it because Bob's mom would definitely give looks to a lot of us. But we obviously just ignored it because we're, we're Bob's friend and we're not going to just fuck his mom. So my friend and I talked to Bob that night. We kind of pulled him inside and said, like, hey, man, like, you know, we, we told him, like, hey, we saw your mom, you know, dancing with Kevin downstairs on the, on the dance floor in the basement. And his reaction was tough. Like, he was like, no, no, like, they're, they're, they're probably just joking around. Like, I, I don't think there's there's anything going on there. And this was the first time we ever saw, and my friend and I ever saw anything. You know, so we kind of let it go. And then, you know, fast forward to the following summer, uh, he, you know, Bob was throwing a 4th of July party. It was kind of late at night, probably like, you know, maybe like 1.30, 2 a.m. Uh, a couple of us were looking to just, you know, hop in the pool and just kind of fuck around. And as we were like walking up the hill towards the pool, Basically, what we had witnessed was from afar, we could hear moans from Bob's mom and Kevin fucking in the pool. So we looked at each other and we saw, like I said, we saw this. We walked up the hill and then they had like an in-ground pool and we, there was like a strobe light in the pool. But I don't think they saw us, but we saw them. So we, we looked at each other like complete shock and dismay. Like both of our faces just like absolutely dropped. It was just like insane to witness. So we looked at each other and then walked back in the house. We found Bob and sat him down and told him that we basically saw his mom fucking Kevin in the pool. And basically told him that we heard and saw, you know, Kevin and fucking his mom in the pool. And it was crazy, but he gave a very similar reaction. He gave at the New Year's party. He was like, what? No, there's no way. They, they must have been joking around. And we told him, we told him, like, no, this isn't joking around, man. Like, they were, like, full-on fucking and moaning in the pool. And we saw them, too. We saw them under the strobe light. And then we brought up how they were grinding at the past New Year's party. And we had asked him, like, dude, like, if, if, do you want us to confront him about it? Like, we absolutely will. We have your back. And he said, no, no, don't, don't worry about it. I don't, I don't think anything real is going on. And when he said that, him and I were like, dude, like we can walk back up there right now. Like they're still out there. Like you can see for yourself. And he just like didn't want to confront that reality. It was like he was in complete denial about what was going on essentially. You know, and normally if someone told you that your mom was hooking up with one of your good friends, like you'd go absolutely ballistic and it would definitely be grounds for a fight. But Bob played it very passively and I guess didn't want to face the cold hard truth that 
you know, his childhood friend that he went all the way back to elementary school with was fucking his mom. You know, Kevin wasn't particularly attractive either. He was about 5'9", about average height. He did have like long dark hair, but overall like a pretty average face. And to be real, the mom wasn't like a complete looker either. But essentially what was happening was that Kevin started living at Bob's house in late high school because his home situation was so bad. And somewhere along the lines, Kevin and Bob's Bob's mom started hooking up while dad's you know, Bob's dad was living there in the house. And what was even more mind blowing was that the dad didn't even seem to have a huge problem with Kevin living there, or at least didn't seem like it. And Bob continued to downplay it and never confronted Kevin about any of this. And then, you know, Bob went off to college um, for the fall semester a few hours away while Kevin continued to live at his parents' house. About a year later, Bob's mom and Kevin were officially in a relationship on Facebook. <laughs> and Bob's mom and dad had gotten divorced as well that next summer. And his mom had moved to a different house and Kevin moved in with her. We had asked Bob the following summer what he had thought about all this. And he had said that he was just completely shocked and that you know, he didn't want to believe us when my friend and I told him multiple times that we saw them hooking up. He said that he was in denial and emotionally didn't know how to handle the fact that his childhood friend was fucking his mom. And Bob was always someone that tried to bring people together. And he was always someone who wanted people to like him. And overall was just very non-confrontational, like to a fault. And if he would have said something to Kevin after we told him about the first incident, it may not have escalated into what it did. And the craziest part is that they continued to date. And then about a year later, they announced that they were getting married on Facebook. And I remember Bob just being like really, really angry about this and saying that he like wanted to knock Kevin out. And in my head, I was thinking like, dude, you should have done that years ago. Like you should have confronted him when you heard about the first incidents. It's too late now. It's like someone who like goes bald and it's like they have a Norwood six hairline and they, they, they say they should have taken finasteride. It's like, dude, you should have thought about this like 15 years ago. <laughs> and who knows? Maybe if he did confront Kevin, they would still end up continuing to fuck and get married. And Bob also had a sister that was around our age as well. And she absolutely refused to go to the wedding along with us and you know, the other friends, obviously. But Bob ended up being in the wedding party for Kevin. Like my buddy and I were absolutely mind blown by this as we all stopped talking to Kevin, obviously because of what he did to Bob, betraying their friendship, ruining their parents' marriage. And, you know, we told Bob, like, dude, you have absolutely no obligation to go to their wedding at all with everything that happened, let alone be one of Kevin's groomsmen. Like, could you imagine if your friend had fucked your mom for years and years behind your back, married her, and then you found out they got married, and then your friend who fucked your mom for years asked you to be a groomsman? Like, do you know how mind-blowing, like, how crazy and ridiculous that sounds? It was just like, so, but yeah, he ended up going through with it. Like, he ended up going through and being one of uh, Kevin's groomsmen and, like, planning his bachelor party. Like, it was absolutely, like, brutal to witness, but he wanted to essentially be the person in his family that kind of kept the peace. And what I will never understand, though, is, like, how Bob's dad just let his son's friend live there. And I also don't understand how Bob's dad didn't catch on to anything happening with his wife and Kevin. Like, you'd think if your, your son's friend was living at your house for multiple years, like three, four, five, six, seven years, you would notice if they were getting touchy-feely or if they were flirting or if they were hooking up. Like, the whole, the whole thing seems, like, so bizarre to me. And I almost, like, think that, you know, Bob's dad knew what was going on. Was he getting cucked? Like, I'm not sure exactly what that was, but it's just, like, mind-blowing. Um, when I think about it from Bob's dad's perspective, like how he could, how he couldn't stand up and say something or notice something was going on. It's just unfathomable. Well, if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like, feel free to comment down below and feel free to subscribe until next time, ladies and gentlemen, 
Take care.